If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you go to the 3D Experience student community to showcase your design, get support, and to download the charge up field and kit of parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Go to Student Community. Welcome to week five of Open Alliance Highlights, presented by Team 6328 Mechanical Advantage. In this video, we will be looking at some of the most interesting, creative, and innovative Open Alliance content from this past week. To start, Team 95 the Grasshoppers did a lot of iterating and testing with their intake, which is capable of collecting both cubes and cones. On the software side, they are using April Tag Recognition for trajectory following and odometry. Next is Team 2611, the Jacktown Vectors, and they're making progress with their robot assembly and did some charge station testing. Team 3161 the Tronic Titans did some testing with shooting cones instead of just placing them. They also started prepping their sheet metal parts and posted an informative video on how to get a swirl pattern on aluminum. Team 3506 Yeti Robotics almost finished assembling their robot, which includes a tilted elevator with end effect here. Additionally, they did some charge station testing with their swerve drive train. Team 3847 Spectrum are continuing to test on their Alphabot and are making great progress with the CAD and assembly of both their practice and competition robots. Team 3926 MPA Roar built their drive base and end effector which can shoot cones and cubes onto their nodes. Team 4795 the East Bots improved on their EveryBot style intake and developed a landing gear which will allow them to partially hang off the charge station, giving their alliance partners more space to engage. They also made progress with their assembly and software. Team 5414 Paradox worked on their pit design, finished their Betabot CAD, made a lot of assembly progress, and made a new drive station. Team 6328 Mechanical Advantage did a lot of software work, specifically with our double jointed arm and intake collision avoidance. Additionally, our CAD is nearly finished with just small details remaining, and we began manufacturing and assembling the robot. Last but not least is Team 8177 Vector, who made a jig with their human player's hand to drop cones through the single substation at the optimal angle. They also tested their intake. Thanks for watching this week's Open Alliance highlights. We hope you enjoyed, and thank you to all Open Alliance teams. See you next week. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, check out the 3D Experience student community. Teams can get support, show off your designs to the world, and even access and download the 2023 kit of parts and charged up field. To access the student community, go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Go to Student Community. Hey, Open Alliance teams and fans, check out the new Open Alliance, FRC, FTC, and fun themed stickers and pins now available at firstupdatesnow.com slash stickers. We also have new Open Alliance and fun shirts arriving at firstupdatesnow.com slash shirts with free shipping, or head over to firstupdatesnow.com to find all the links. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gd forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.